Hey, this is Mikey with a quick After Effects uh, tutorial. Today I want to talk about designing in After Effects, creating this kind of pseudo text. And what's cool about this text is, uh, let me just duplicate this and move it over here. It's something that you see in a lot of infographics, you know, um, little scripts and things where you want to show text but you don't want to have to write up anything. But what I've done is I've done all of this um, work to it with shape or not shape animations but text animations where I'm just typing whatever I want and it shows up in just fake font right I'm just typing lots of lots of stuff so it doesn't matter what you type it all shows up like this let me show you quickly how to do that and if you stick around after the tutorial's over, I got a little sneak peek at a new plugin I've been working on, so you're gonna have to stick around for that. So let's start with a new text layer. And I'm going to use just times. It's something that everybody has. And let's just type something. Now what we want to do is go into the text layer animations. So in the timeline, you twirl down that arrow and where it says animate, I need to go down to character value. A couple of things I need to do first. Actually just one thing, which is the character alignment, set it to adjust kerning and switch the value to 45. And it gives these little dashes. Now there's lots of different values you can switch to, but 45 in the times font is these dashes. Now I'm gonna come into the property of this range selector and add a couple more things. First, line spacing, tracking, and scale. It's a little bit to set up, but once you set this all up, you can save this as a preset and then it's nice and simple. So let's first go to scale. I'm going to unlink it and let's scale the whole thing vertically so it's a little bit taller. Now after I do that, I'm going to go into the more options up here and this grouping alignment. Let's bring that down. So it matches with my anchor point. Now let's go into the line spacing not line spacing, sorry. Now let's go into the tracking and squish them together. I had it on center just five, but let me put it to left aligned and then that's a little bit easier. So with this, uh, the font size is 60 and the tracking amount is eight and 440 for the scale on the vertical axis. Um, it might be different on yours. This is what mine ended up being. Now, let's come in and let's just write some stuff. Now what I want to do is after I write a couple of lines, I just hit enter in between. Let's adjust the line spacing to where we want it. And then that's it. This is something I can save as a preset. So in order to save this as a preset, Let's come in and highlight all the things that um, have changed that we want to keep. So I don't need to keep the source text, but I do want to keep the everything else. So I'm going to highlight those things. Animation, save animation preset. Call it something like pseudo type. Now let's go in. Let's just hide that and let's apply the preset so we can see it. Okay. So I have something typed here. Let's find my preset. And I spelled pseudo type wrong, that's okay. And there it is, everything's applied and it looks good. So again, this is something I've used a few times in um, different animated infographics where you just want kind of a, a fake, a presence of type and you don't want to have to go in and create boxes for everything because that would take a long time to create boxes. If I did this out of shape layers, I would be killing myself. So that is the tutorial, really quick and easy. And again, you can save it as a preset. So I hope you enjoy that. Now, 
let's get to the sneak peek. Look at that. This is something I'm working on. The effect is called Triangulate right now. That's the working title. I'm uh, trying to figure out a better name for it. But basically, it does this kind of stuff. Pretty cool. I'm using uh, Mask Tracker to kind of track different facial features and feed that all into the Triangulate effect. There's a lot more it can do, and trust me, I will be showing you some more videos of this um, soon, but right now I just wanted to show this one thing I'm doing. Triangulate. Stay tuned for it, and if you have any questions about, one, this tutorial, or two, this plugin soon to be released, um, go ahead and put those in the comments below, and I'd love to get to them. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.